For maximum machine stability when maintaining the travel surface, the motor grader's mainframe should be straight with the drawbar and circle centered under the frame. For the widest possible pass width on the travel surface, keep the moldboard angle as square to the frame as possible. If material starts to flow around the leading end of the moldboard or the rolling action dies, increase the blade angle. Keep machine travel speed as high as possible for maximum productivity, but low enough to prevent machine bounce. On straight sections, steer the machine as straight as possible to maintain a straight shoulder and uniform crown to the road. Articulating the rear frame toward the heel of the moldboard two to five degrees frequently reduces the machine's tendency to bounce. Keep adequate distance between the windrow and the inside of the front tire. To prevent sidewall damage from sharp rocks, keep the front tire clear of the windrow and never run over windrows. Ensure the moldboard is discharging materials safely outside of the rear tandem tires. Do not discharge in front of the tandem tires. If necessary, slightly shift the drawbar to the discharge side. Lean the top of the wheels toward the heel of the moldboard, that is, the discharge side, to counteract material side draft forces. The only exception to this is when the machine cannot be positioned to have the windrow in between the front tires. In this case, you would lean the tires away from the windrow toward the toe to protect the sidewall. The tread of the tire should be on the edge of the windrow in this situation and not the sidewall of the tire. Contact your local cat dealer for more information.